shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring this week's video. I have some things to update you guys on. So a few days ago, my sister drove all the way down here with her boyfriend and Nemo. So my sister has another cat and Nemo and the other cat has been fighting for months. And we were like, it is time to bring Nemo back home. So he is back home now. I'll show you guys later in the vlog. But right now they went to get my car's oil changed, which I'm very thankful that they were willing to do that for me because I wasn't about to go do that myself. But it's been really nice to have someone to hang out with and to talk to. We've been cooking together a lot. We've been eating good food. We've been playing Animal Crossing together. I also bought a Nintendo Switch for myself. It's coming in this Friday and I am so excited. Oh my gosh, I've been trying to resist, but then I was like, no, I, I need it. So I'll do an unboxing later when that gets here. But I got ready today because I have some pictures that I have to take for this interview that I'm doing and I want it to look good obviously so I did my makeup. This morning I try to wake up a little earlier. I've been waking up around 9am. That is pretty early for me because I used to wake up at 11 but I've been trying to go to bed early and wake up early so I woke up early, ate breakfast, did my morning workout now i am all ready i did some work also my internship ends this friday so after that i'll be free i'll be able to play my animal crossing and oh my gosh it sounds so good i need to change so i need to figure out what i'm gonna wear but i'm I just wanted to update you guys on what's been going on in my life because yeah, my life has been a little different but my sister is leaving soon so yeah, I'm a little sad about that I wish she could stay but yeah, at least I have Nemo now so I won't be as bored Nemo! <gasps> Nemo, say hi to the camera! They missed you! Come on, Nemo! Come on! Nemo! Yeah, come on. Let's go downstairs. My sister went out to get my car's oil changed and she just texted me, want something from Chick-fil-A? That is the most beautiful text I've ever received. Um, what do I want? I want fries. Also, my sister brought her projector here, so we're gonna watch Heart Signal on the projector. Imagine eating Chick-fil-A, watching Heart Signal. That is the best thing ever. Ready to watch Heart Signal. I told them that I would be eating Chick-fil-A, but look what I'm eating now. <laughs> A salad. You guys saw the first few clips of me updating you guys when my sister was here. Um, I couldn't really vlog when she was here just because we were all kind of occupied doing our work and also because we were just hanging out. I wasn't thinking a lot about like getting content or filming so I don't have a lot of footage from when she was here but while she was here, we had a lot of family time that we couldn't have when she was away. We cooked together a lot as a family. We ate good food. We watched TV. We watched TikToks together and all that. It was really fun. But she went home and you guys just saw Nemo is still with us. He's going to be staying with us now. I'm 
making a toast with bacon, egg, and probably some fruit. I also have this mini kind bar. This is so tiny. It's literally gone in like two bites. But it was a nice little treat at the end of my meal. I really want to drink coffee, but I'm not going to because I've been trying to cut down on my caffeine intake. I'm going to give myself four hours to get everything that I need to get done today to maximize my productivity level. That way I'll actually be productive and not waste time because right now it's 12, almost 12. So from 12 to 4, I'm gonna do whatever I need to do. And then from 4 to whenever I decide to go to bed, I'll be completely free to do whatever I want. This is what happens when you read a self-help book in the morning. I was reading this one book today and it told me to... I don't know how the book worded it, but it told me to minimize the time that you give yourself to maximize your productivity level if that makes sense, so that's what I'm doing, or that's what I'm trying today. I also started this Chloe Ting workout challenge that everyone's been doing. Keeping up with her workout plan, it makes me feel stronger every time I do it because I can actually notice how strong I've gotten. Because like, for example, this one workout that I used to do, I could like barely make it through halfway, but now I can pretty much do the whole thing with like one or two pauses in between which is so great like i am getting stronger and i can actually see myself getting better at them so it motivates me to do them i'm doing the summer challenge that she started a few days ago so i'm gonna do that workout probably after dinner but yeah i just wanted to talk about it because i'm usually not the type to keep up with these like youtube workout plans but it's been fun, it's been nice, and everyone's been doing it, so it's been like kind of pressuring me to do it, but also like it motivates me in a in the best way. Not in a negative way, it's not making me do this when I don't want to be doing it. But yeah, I'm blabbering now. Bye. I don't know if you can hear my oven, but I'm cooking my salmon right now. So I thought it would be the perfect time for me to talk to you guys about my uh, new favorite shows. I started Outer Banks last week. I watched the first episode and I was like, eh, I don't know how I feel about it. And then like three days ago, I just watched the second episode and then I binge watched the whole thing in a day. So you guys know it was a good show. I really liked it. The show is about these teenagers living on an island looking for a treasure and there's just a lot of like crime involved. There is a love line and I don't know what it is about this show but it really hooked me in and I think it's the setting too. There's just running around with no phones and it was just so nice to see something like that. So I really liked Outer Banks. It's like number two on Netflix right now so I would highly highly recommend. And then few days ago, I posted on Instagram asking you guys to comment your favorite show and so many people commented extracurricular. I've been hearing so many good things about this show that I was like, okay, I'm gonna watch it and usually it takes me about an episode or two to get really drawn in but this show got my attention from the very beginning. So. It had a really good beginning, it had a really good first episode, and I am currently on episode 10. And I started this like two days ago, and I've been trying to control myself so I don't finish the whole thing in one day. But this one's also really good. It is a deeper show, and it definitely has a lot of meanings behind everything. I am never the one to binge watch Netflix shows, but here I am. I have all the time in the world right now. So I've been on this Netflix kick that I haven't been on in a while. I'm so excited to finish Extracurricular. I'm sad about it though, because I really like this story and I like the characters, I like the actors in it. 
so yeah i'm kind of sad to be done with extracurricular but after this i'm gonna watch society and then i'm going to watch never have i ever guess what time it is it is time for animal crossing i filmed an unboxing but i look busted in that video like i just don't look good i got the turquoise nintendo switch light this was literally the only thing that was not sold out let me show you all of my pictures that i took i literally log in every day around sunset time and i take pictures like this isn't that hilarious oh my gosh that was my first day look how bad i looked and then this is my sister and i that's like my sister's boyfriend's character but we met up and we took lots of pictures look how adorable I am really glad that I woke up pretty early today. It's only 9 a.m. Uh, I went to bed really early yesterday, like 11, which is crazy for me. But I'm proud and I think I'm gonna go downstairs and eat some breakfast. Also, today is heart signal day. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited because usually it's like I do all of my work and watch it at the end of the day. But now i can just watch it whenever so i don't know if it's up yet but we'll see i am so excited to watch it mm. my plan for today is i still have to finish up answering some interview questions so i'm going to do that while drinking my coffee and then Hmm, I'm going to watch Heart Signal. I can't believe it's already been a week because last week I watched it upstairs with my sister and her boyfriend on the TV. But now I have to watch it by myself, which is kind of sad. And then I think I might go on a drive by myself later. I mean, I love being with my family. I love being home. But sometimes I miss the times that I used to get in my car turn on music and drive around while singing on the top of my lungs so I think I might do that and while I'm on a drive I might stop by Trader Joe's which is my favorite grocery store around here and pick up some things that our family could eat so yeah I love going on little adventures by myself but I can't go around and do that anymore which is kind of sad i also told you guys a while ago that i want to decorate my room and like make a vlog about it but the thing is it's kind of hard to order everything online especially things like plants i definitely want to have plants in my room it's hard to order that online so i could find a way but it's expensive it takes time and it just it is too much work so we're going to uh, put a hold on that for a while and just live in the room that I have because it's perfectly fine the way it is. I have no idea what I look like right now because it's so sunny, I can't see the screen. Hopefully I don't look horrible. But I'm outside right now. I just went out for a walk for about 30 minutes and then I changed clothes. I put on some sunscreen and I decided that it would be nice to just sit out here and soak up the sun because I've been spending way too much time inside. I brought my switch out here. I'm gonna sip on my iced water. listen to some podcasts I was just listening to Anything Goes by Emma Chamberlain I might turn on some music because I just finished it I'm just gonna chill out here Have 
I just picked up some mail from our mailbox. Now I have to go to the post office to drop something off and then I'm gonna go I'm gonna go to the grocery store. That is the end of my vlog for this week. Thank you guys so much for watching until the end. I know I took a break off from vlogging last week and it was a really nice break for me where I just got to relax and not have to worry about editing. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video again. If you're in quarantine and you've been wanting to make your own blog or you're just your own website, Squarespace is an amazing platform you can use to build your own website. If you run an online business or a business in general, you can use their scheduling and their booking system to make things easier for you and your clients. You can use your email campaign system to send out emails and you can also get a sense of who's actually on your website by checking out their website analytics. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial and also you can use my link squarespace.com slash yujin to get 10% off your first domain or your first purchase on Squarespace. That is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.